Hey everyone, Ava Paula here, and today we're doing two Transformer reviews in one. And they're both from Transformers the Movie, part of the Studio Series line. So we have Autobot Springer and Steeljaw. Now, I'm doing it like this because, well, I just picked this guy up today at Target. So, yeah. And this one came today in the mail. And since it's just a core figure, uh, I di can't really justify doing a video on just this alone. Because it's only six steps. So <laughs> there's not much for me to really go over with this. But I swear, can this go into Blaster? Because uh, he, he does look like a cassette tape. I don't know. I thought the cassette tapes were a little bit bigger. But I guess I was wrong. Or I don't remember. Eh, we'll try anyway. But we got Springer here. And it's a three-in-one. So, he has a robot form and then two other vehicle forms. Over here, you get a picture of him on the side, just like Steeljaw. Turning here, we see that he's a leader class. And this one says core. Turn him around, like I said, six steps for Steeljaw. And then we have 31 steps to become the vehicle like this, like a car. And then 27 steps to turn into a it looks like a helicopter, so, okay. And he does come with a background. He comes with Battle of Autobot City, which I have, like, six of them now, all different sizes. So, yay. And this one has a little bit of description. It says, Springer and RC defend against a Decepticon attack by converting Autobot City. Let's get them open and take a closer look. All right, so first thing we can look at is the background. Like I said, We've seen this one plenty of times already. Nothing new. And for uh, Steeljaw, I did manage to get him inside of Blaster, but when you push the button, oh, it finally opened. It took a while. But yeah, he fits right in there. Cool. So he has another little cassette guy. Just wanted to try that out. And let's see. We'll look at the instructions. So they both have the, you know, the movie Red theme that's going on with them. This one's a tiny little thing. Oh, didn't unfold it all the way, but still very tiny. Cool. Then we got Springer here. It's like a little mini poster. It's quite big. So, yeah. A lot of steps. Now, I'm hoping that the triple change will be like it was for... Oh, jeez, who was it? I, I can't... Was it Dreadwing? I think? I did a review on? I can't remember. Either that or his brother. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm hoping you transform into one vehicle, and then it just goes straight into the next vehicle after that, instead of vehicle, back to robot, and then vehicle. So, we got Steeljaw here with some uh, accessories. The accessories can't really be used until he gets transformed into his lion mode so we'll have to wait to see what all this looks like on him and springer well he came with a lot of stuff he's got this i like this color it's it almost reminds me of like glow in the dark plastic it's kind of a really really bleached green cool i don't know if that's supposed to be like autobot symbol on there that's not actually there just an imprint of it here we get this blaster well, it looks like a missile launcher. Maybe get this big old, I don't know what it is, a turbine? Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out when, uh, yeah, <laughs> when I look at the directions. We got another little blaster here. And another gray one, but a different mold used for it. Here we get a sword. Nice, has three different colors. We got the silver, the purple, and then, or, well, lavender and then black for the hilt and then we get the big sword now this thing is cool this turns out yeah it is the propeller for uh, him and it has two different colors green we get a sage and then a just a kind of a yellowish green pretty cool and this thing can open up so it can be the propeller so this is how you would look if he's holding them and if you want to put one of them away, 
He can go around the back of his uh, little pack back there. And there he is with one of his blasters. And just like the sword, it can go on his back also. You can also put that big thing on his back, which I think it's an explosive. I'm not sure. And the same goes for his hammer, which uh, to put that on, just gotta fold these out. And he also came with those two other small blasters, which you can actually combine the two of them to get this really nice long one. And you can actually utilize more than just one spot to store the weapons. Those are the little flaps that we undid. We actually put things, uh, two of them. So he can hold almost everything. You can put the two blasters in his hand, but then you still have another sword, and you can actually unfold his wrist area here. And uh, you can see he has, yeah, he keeps moving around. There you go. He has like a hidden weapon in there. Now his other arm does not have that. So only one secret weapon. All right, so Springer here looks pretty good and beefy. One thing I don't like is these shoulder pieces. Uh, they're kind of like, they can move around, but it's like you have to have the arm down if you want these to be like perfectly straight. And then they also can turn. And you can also move it on their own, but you only get so far, so you have to have the arm down. The pack, not really an issue. It does stick out a little bit, but I think because of the shape, it kind of goes with it. You see he has some reels here, some reels there. Now he has those two greens that he had on the sword, the sage, and then the lighter green. He also has got yellow, and his eyes are blue. Alright, so, some articulation. If we get the head, it can go around all the way, but it can't go side to side, and it has, like, I wouldn't really even call this anything, but it can kind of move forward and back. Whatever. So we get the arms. And even with the shoulder packs, you still get to 90. Turns. That's going to be at the elbow. So the arm doesn't quite go all the way around. It can go all the way around, but you have to kind of bend the arm a bit. Right there. But then you get the elbow. And get a little past 90. And we get the hands. So the hands can spin around. And you can also open up the fingers. Then we get the waist. It cannot go all the way around. Only to about there. We get it. This thing back here is what's preventing it from going all the way. We get the legs. They can go out. 180, forward, 90, and back, 90. Then we get up here. We can turn it. And then we get the knee past 90, and the feet. So they can go down, up, and in. All right, I'm gonna get them transformed and then we'll take a look at those. And here's Springer in his first form. So, pretty cool. I, I did have a little bit of trouble putting it together. I forgot what pieces it was that was giving me a hard time. But yeah, so there's that. But it moves pretty okay. And you could put on his little sword weapon there. Right on the back. There. Don't know why. But yeah, that's what it shows it as. And this is what he looks like having the uh, big old gun there. So we still get to see the Autobot. Oh yeah, so these pieces here don't stay in the hand very well. They do come out quite easy. So, eh, I don't like that. I like the clear blue plastic they have for the cockpit area. So, time to transform them again. Well, here's Springer's final form. It is cool looking, but it was not fun to put together. I can tell you that right now. I don't even think that it's put together right. I Everything about it is, is okay except for this right here. If you look, it's not... I don't know, is it, isn't it supposed to be like parallel to the rest? It looks a little off there, but there's a piece... Right there, this little green nub that's preventing this from going down, and I can't seem to figure anything else about it. Also, again, the hands don't want to really keep those in place. 
And these arms do tend to want to come off. So does the back tail area. It doesn't want to stay plugged in. But it looked great. It does. Little differences, like before in the car mode, these stick out past the grill area. But now they're in. We got a propeller that spins nice and smooth. All right, stop. And you can still use the wheels, too. So, all in all, I do like it. I just don't know about... Is it supposed to be like that with these things? I would assume they'd be more flat. I could have did it wrong, but I went over those directions multiple times, and I still can't figure out that. All right, let's not forget about Steeljaw. He is tiny, but let's you do this so you can't move the mouth on him kind of wish you could he's got legs you can move around front and back he's got two little side blasters here that you can angle them however you want even backwards now he looks kind of bare oh he also has his autobot symbol right there so you can put on his little wings tab in the back there we go Looks pretty good. And those wings, you can move in different directions. So back, forward. Oop. And they also seem to come off quite easy. So be careful with that or you might be losing them. And he has his other attachment. Now I'm looking in here through the back and it looks like, I'm not sure, the directions I don't believe showed anything, but it looks like you could probably put something in there like him maybe no oh well i don't know all right well that's just been my review of transformers studio series autobot springer and steel jaw from transformers the movie and if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down below and as always you all have yourselves a good one and i will see you later